A famously flawed safety critical system was the electronic throttle control system in model year 2002 through 2010 Toyota vehicles. That system was said to cause unintended acceleration, abbreviated as UA. UA, due to vehicle defects, was thought to be the cause of perhaps 89 deaths and resulted in many hundreds of lawsuits for death and serious injury. A class action lawsuit in the U.S. settled for more than $1 billion in addition to settlements from the many death and injury cases. In the one public trial that concentrated on the safety of this computer system, a jury found that not only was the system defective, but that Toyota had acted in reckless disregard, triggering a punitive damages trial phase. Many of the issues in that public case had to do with software quality. But there was also a safety problem contributed by a single point of failure in the hardware of Toyota's electronic throttle control. This is a simplified diagram of the ETCS taken from NASA's analysis of that system. You can see that there are two voltages from two different sensors on the accelerator pedal. That way, if one of the accelerator pedal sensors fails, the system is designed for there to be another sensor so you can detect that failure. However, both copies of the accelerator pedal sensor go through the same analog to digital converter on the same chip. Because a defect or disruption in the operation of that one ADD converter can affect the processing of both accelerator pedal sensor voltages, this is a dangerous single point of failure in the system design. The problem is that the other chip, the main CPU, has no independent way to receive accelerator pedal information. Among other things, this arrangement can result in what amounts to an electronically stuck accelerator pedal, meaning that the defect in the blue monitor chip could in effect result in a lie to the main CPU about the accelerator pedal position, and there would really be no way for the main CPU to know that that's what was happening. So what we see in this system is that Toyota did not implement two fault containment regions. That's because a fault inside the blue monitor chip can escape, and a fault from outside the main CPU can enter and cause unsafe behavior.